Our next inductee this evening is Jason Jennings, Baylor Baseball 1997 to 99. Jason Jennings, the most decorated baseball player in school history, played for head coach Steve Smith from 97 to 99. He joins Mickey Sullivan as the program's only two-time first-team All-Americans. In 1999, Jennings became the first unanimous National Player of the Year in Division I history. After earning Freshman All-America and Big 12 Freshman of the Year honors in 97, Jennings enjoyed a 21-game hitting streak in 98, the fourth longest in school history. He earned co-Big 12 Player of the Year honors in 98 and won the honor outright the following season when he produced the kind of results that players dream about. That season, he led the Bears in batting average, and he led the Big 12 in wins, strikeouts, and innings pitch. Additionally, 1999 was the year that Jennings tied single season school records in wins and shutouts and set records for innings pitched and strikeouts. Jennings is Baylor's career record holder for strikeouts and complete games. He was a two-time member of the USA Baseball National Team and a three-time first-team All-Big 12 and academic All-Big 12 selection. He was a first-round pick of the Colorado Rockies and reached the major leagues with the organization in 2001. He was named National League Rookie of the Year the following season. He played six years with the Rockies and one with the Astros before joining the Texas Rangers organization in 2008. He and his wife Kelly currently live in Frisco, Texas with their son Braden and their daughter Bailey. And tonight we induct Jason Jennings into the Baylor Athletic Hall of Fame. Thank you. Uh, first off, I think I'd like to apologize to a, for a few things. Um, first off, to Stacy's family, I believe, sitting at this table. The little one with the purple tie does belong to me. He's uh, my youngest, Keithan. He's two. Apologize for that. Um, and to everyone in attendance tonight for those painted on pants that you witnessed on the video screen. Uh, I promise nowadays I do get them custom tailored so they fit a little baggier and a little bit more comfortable. Um, but just a, you know, a few thank yous tonight. Obviously, uh, this is a, an unbelievable honor. Um, being at Baylor from 97 to 99 was uh, truly three of the greatest years of my life. Uh, this is a special place, special people. Um, it's a great environment, great campus, uh, great facilities. And um, you know, I've, I've said that to, to hundreds of people since I've left, since I've left Baylor. And um, you know, it's just uh, it's a, an experience I'll never forget. Uh, first off, to the to the B Association and the Hall of Fame committee for voting me in this year. Um, this is a truly a great honor to be a part of, of this group. These people sitting behind me on stage. Um, to uh, also to my parents um, for their love and support growing up. Uh, my dad showing me the ropes, playing ball, coaching me, uh, you know, football, baseball, basketball, and um, you know, coaching me because he he loved the game and he loved the coach, not. Um, not because he wanted a, a salary like some of the guys these days. It, I don't want to get on my soapbox, but um, you know we just played ball to have to have fun. We had painted on numbers, you know, iron on jerseys. We um, we didn't have the fancy stuff. We just went and played ball and had fun. And um, I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, my sisters, throw a little thank you to them for using their summer vacations for my baseball tournaments, <laughs> from uh, New Mexico to Colorado. Um, all around Texas. We seemed like we ended up in Stephenville somehow every summer. But, uh, you know, thank you guys for, for your support. Um, tons of extended family and friends in attendance tonight. Uh, my in-laws are here. Thank you for, uh, for your support and uh, my family and friends for, you, for your support. Uh, to my in-laws, thank you for allowing me to, to be a part of Kelly's life and uh, drag her around all my baseball games. And, um, you know, obviously uh, things have, have turned out pretty good for us. Um, Let's see, uh, to Kelly, my wife Kelly. Um, she's been with me every step of the way. Uh, we met my junior year in high school, and we met during football season. I was a punter kicker. She was a drill team captain, so uh, she, had, she didn't even know I played baseball when we met. So it was uh, it's kind of a cool story, and, and she's been with me every step of the way. She got a, a dance scholarship, actually, to MCC uh, when I was at Baylor. So um, we were in Waco and hung out together for, for the years I was here. And, She's been with me ever since, since, uh, let's see, where did we go? Portland, Oregon, Asheville, North Carolina, Salem, Virginia, 
uh, Raleigh, North Carolina, Colorado Springs, Denver, Houston, now back to, uh, to God's country, the state of Texas. Um, and my buddies from California always used to give me a hard time because they're like, you, you guys from Texas, you, you think you're better than everybody. And I was like, well, yeah, we, we are. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm just telling the truth. Um, Braden, Bailey, and Keithan are three little ones. Um, you know, you really never know how much you love somebody until you, you start a family, you start having kids. And, and uh, these guys have hugs and kisses for me every night, no matter if I threw a two-hit shutout or if I give up 11 runs in one inning. And um, I have done both. <laughs> <laughs> any, uh, any Astros fans in the crowd tonight, I'm sorry. <laughs> Drayton McLean, wonderful man, one of the nicest men you'll ever meet, but I still wake up in cold sweats thinking about pitching in Minute Maid Park. <laughs> um, Coach Smith, Coach Jonigan, Coach Thompson, uh, thank you guys for, for bringing me in. Um, actually, I narrowed my recruiting trips down to, to two schools, and I went to Texas A&M one weekend, and my Baylor was my next weekend. So I was at Texas A&M, sat down with the coach. They said, you know, here's your scholarship. It was a, a decent scholarship, and they said, but it, it may go down depending on how you play. And I was like, hmm, okay, that doesn't sound right. But anyway, we went to the football game. And sure enough, I see the, the male cheerleaders with the white unis. I was like, no, this is not for me. <laughs> so um, the next weekend, I show up at Baylor. I meet with, with the coaches. Um, Coach Smith says, here's your scholarship. A great offer. He said, as long as you make the grades, it will never, ever go down. And I knew from that second on that I was in the right place. So uh, thank you, guys. Uh, to my teammates, uh, most of them are here. I know Marty's here. I know. Marty left right before I came in, but um, thank you guys. Uh, the guys I played with, uh, an amazing group of guys, lifelong friends, and um, just the, the nicest bunch of guys, the closest knit bunch of guys I've ever been a part of. So uh, thank you very much. Um, while we're handing out thank yous, and bear with me for a second, I would like to give one to uh, the University of Texas. Um, growing up, my dad went to UT for a couple years, played ball. Growing up, you know, I was like, yeah, I want to go to UT. That'd be cool. You know, in high school, I was like, that'd be cool to go to UT, be a Longhorn. <laughs> so um, I got recruited, you know, Rice, Houston, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, LSU, <laughs> everywhere in between. Um, I even got a letter from Dartmouth, for goodness sake. Not one letter, not one phone call from the University of Texas. So thank you for not recruiting me, because I might not have ended up here, and we might not have beat up on you guys for three straight years. <laughs> Um, 